Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. So today's video is going to be all about my three pairs of designer shoes because I realized that I put the unboxings up and I've never really updated you on the actual shoes themselves. So I wanted to sit down and talk about whether I wear them and how they fit now, whether I recommend getting down sizes, basically just talk through everything about the shoes and how I find them because I think if you're gonna spend a lot of money on a pair of shoes, you really wanna know that they are a good investment and that you're gonna get the wear out of them for the price. So. I actually have bought these shoes kind of progressively. I saved up a lot of my own money for these. But without further ado, I'm gonna get in and share these with you. So I'm gonna start from the ones that I bought the longest ago. So these are the ones that I really saved up for. And as a quick disclaimer, I just wanted to let you know that all of these shoes were bought completely with my own money, apart from my parents gave me a small percentage of the first pair of shoes as a birthday present. So my dad and my stepmom were very, very kind and generous and that was like a birthday present percentage, so they kind of helped me buy them. But I have bought all of these myself and I saved up a lot of money, so I saved for a long time to get these and I didn't buy them on a whim. I really, really thought about each purchase and obviously eventually ended up making said purchases over time and I look after these like they are my children. I honestly, they get treated with so much love and respect. Like they live on these shelves, they get dusted, they get cleaned. And I'm actually planning on sending two pairs back to the retailer to be resold because I think I'd rather spend a little bit more money and get them resold by the initial retailer because I think that it will be a lot better than getting it done anywhere else because I want it to be like a proper perfect job. But I'm gonna jump straight in and start with the first pair, like I said, which is my Gucci Marmont boots. And these were the first ever designer thing that I had bought. I don't even think I owned a designer bag at this point and I love these. So I got them in around October 2018 and the first time I ever wore them was in New York. So I'm gonna get them off the floor now and show you. So this is what they look like. And like I said, the very first time I wore these was in New York and I wore them on a helicopter flight where you get to put your legs over the side because I was like, these babies need their first outing to be something special. And I also wore them the same day to Carrie Bradshaw's house in New York. And I feel like it was an ode to my icon and it was just like the perfect place to have worn my first pair of shoes and it made me really emotional because I was like, oh my God, I've bought this amazing pair of shoes for myself and I feel really grateful and uh, yeah, basically that was the story. So these are the boots. So they are, like I said, the Gucci Marmont boots and these are the black with the embroidered bees and stars on them and they're very, very, very cute and very unique. So they retail at about 875 pounds and you can buy this boot style in plain black. You can buy it in like a nudie color. There's like a few different variations, but this was the most me style that I could possibly ever have thought of having. And I am obsessed with them. I love these so, so much that I definitely need them resold. Like I've worn these to the absolute bare bones of their being. So I'm gonna get them resold as soon as I can because obviously I can't take them into a store to get them sent off because everything's shut. Otherwise I would have done it already because they need a bit of TLC. Like they need, this, this bit needs like flattening back down again. They need a really good polish, but I worry about polishing them with the embroidery. And I actually got these in a size down. So these are a 37, which is the equivalent of a size UK four. Um, I'm a UK five and I tried the five one and it was huge and these fit really nicely. So that was definitely a very, very good thing to have done because the Gucci sizing is just a bit all over the place. Like I've tried loafers on before in there and instead of getting a five, I ended up being a size three. So definitely recommend if you are going into Gucci to try shoes on. If you're gonna buy them online, I recommend sizing down by one for these and two for loafers. But if you're gonna be going into a shop, I definitely think just try a couple on. And even if you think a shoe fits, just try on like either side, just so that you know that that's definitely the right size for you. Because obviously leather does stretch a little bit. So as you can see from the shoe, they are now very well loved. And I think with them being such an investment piece, they are something that's gonna obviously wear over time. They're genuine leather and I just think they still look really nice and they still look fairly new. I'm honestly planning on having these for the rest of my life. Like I will be a grandma wearing Gucci boots, but I just love them. And I wanted to mention the first time I wore these was actually so painful. So obviously they are genuine leather and they hurt. She sat in the taxi like squashing the back in and trying to make it like give a bit, but after one or two wears, they're the most comfortable thing ever and I wear them all the time. The heel height's not too much. They're like the perfect heel. I wear these a lot with dresses. I wear them with trousers, like genuinely. They are just my most worn shoe ever. Even more so than like other black boots and stuff that I own. These are just the most comfortable and the most worn. Like genuinely, wearing these is like wearing slippers. I just, I cannot fault them. And I really want to get to the nude version of them because 
if I wear these that much, I'd rather invest in like a really good pair of like nude or white boots. Like, you know, they're like Gucci cream. That's kind of like, I know the nude I'm on about and I know the cream I'm on about, but you'll know if you've seen the Gucci website, like it's a really nice, like soft, like really soft cream. And I think I'd rather invest in like a really good pair of boots. And I've also got my eye on a couple of other Gucci boots, but I don't want to spend loads of money unless I know I really want them. So I'm kind of holding out, but there is a really nice flat pair that I want. And obviously the other version of these, but yeah these are my most favorite and my most worn and my most loved and i just i can't get enough of them like i just love them i feel like anyone who knows me knows i wear these to death and they're just the best thing in my world the second pair of shoes i got was about three or four months later and the reason being is because i just really loved them and i wanted to invest in like a really good trainer so i bought these just before they became like mega mega popular on instagram and I have to admit, the one thing that I regret with these is not sizing down by like one size or half a size because had I have known, I would have sized down because they are ever so slightly too big, which I know sounds ridiculous because they're like the clumpiest things ever, but I went for a 38, which is my size, and a lot of people now say to size down one, so I really wish I'd done that. It's basically the most me colorway that you could possibly think of, and I actually really want the black or the white pair of these as well because I wear these sometimes, I have to admit, I don't wear them as much as I should or I could because they are a bit too big. So I'm considering selling them and going down a size. Obviously, I know I'd never make the full money back, but I just think that I'd get a lot more wear out of them if I did that. So these came in retail wise, I think about £500. I can't remember exactly how much I paid. I want to say it was like between 500 and 600 maybe like 545 or something. I know it was like a random amount, but they are a really nice shoe and they're super comfortable. They're a bit heavy and they are a bit like a leg workout to wear, but they're just so nice and and I just love them like they are gigantic but I love them and they're very much a trend shoe but I think because they're so expensive it's a trend that keeps giving because everyone I know that has them consistently wears them because of the fact they're so expensive and they're just really comfortable like honestly they're so comfortable and yeah I just I wish I'd size down so I could wear them more but I think what I might do is get like two insoles and then the two insoles will like push or one insole two's a bit excessive but get an insole that will push my foot up in them a little bit more so that I know that I've got a bit more like hold because i do find i slip out of them a little bit but yeah i love them i love them a lot all i will say is if you ever travel with them make sure that these are the ones that you wear because they weigh like five kilos or something ridiculous and yeah i like you have to wear them to the airport otherwise they are taking up they're literally taking up half your luggage because they're massive but they also weigh a lot <laughs> And the final pair of shoes I got were in summer 2019. So I did get them all within a year's period. But like I said, I had saved up a lot of money to buy these. And they were all ones that I'd wanted for a long time. So this is the third pair, which I actually initially went in for the cream pair. And then quickly found out that they had released a nude, which for me was even better because it's a lot more wearable and a lot less likely to get completely ruined. So I picked up the Princeton Mules, which are in a 37 again. So these were one size down, which surprised me a lot because I thought I'd need two sizes down, like with the loafers, because technically they're just backless loafers, but I only needed one size down, which I think is completely... I, I just don't understand Gucci sizing. Like that is the one thing to take away from this video. If you take anything away, Gucci sizing is crazy, but they are one of the most comfortable things ever and I love these. I wear these a lot during the summer and like the autumn. Basically everything apart from the depths of winter you'll probably see me wearing these and they're just really comfortable. So the first time I ever wore them they did pinch ever so slightly because obviously they had to create the creasing across your toes and kind of mould to your foot. Again they are genuine leather so that's bound to happen. But now they've kind of moulded to my feet they are the most comfortable things ever and I do still really want the cream version but I think I'm just going to save up a little bit more and really think about those because I love these and I wear these to death but I can't decide between the black and the cream. Cream. these actually retail at about 500 pounds as well i think they're about 515 so they are quite expensive but like i say if you wear them a lot then i definitely think it's worth investing in and these ones and the other gucci shoes i am taking in to get resold because as you can see the soles are like completely gone here and when i went in to inquire about getting the soles redone and like getting them maintained the guy really recommended sending them off to gucci directly so that's what i'm going to be doing i'm going to send these ones off across the winter and i'm going to try and send the other ones off a bit sooner because it takes about eight weeks they have to send them all the way to italy or something so it's going to take a while but i definitely think giving up my shoes for like eight weeks versus keep wearing them and then completely ruining them is very very worthwhile but these are really cute and i love these a lot i basically think i've got like the best i could just live in these three pairs of shoes and never buy anything else and i'd be quite content to be honest but that was my three pairs of designer shoes and kind of what i think of them now so all of them are wearing really well i do wish i wore the triple s a little bit more i think that 
had I have known and had I have spoken to more people, I probably would have sized down. But it's not the worst thing in the world. Like, I can wear insoles in them and they will be fine. It's just that I think I would get more wear out of them if they were smaller. Um, I also am thinking about getting them in white. But obviously, like I say, the white of the Triple S and the white of the Mules are going to be a while in the future when I've saved up a lot of money and can honestly say that they're worth investing in but i really hope you enjoyed this video guys and i hope that you have found a bit more insight if you're looking into buying any of those shoes and i can really recommend all three pairs i just think make sure when you buy them that it's a really thought out investment and make sure it's a pair that you really love and will get wear out of because it's great to have a really nice pair of shoes but if you paid a lot of money and they just sit on your shelf they're not getting their cost per wear up and i think that's really important so if you're going to invest make sure that you're going to wear them i really hope you enjoyed this video guys and i just wanted to reiterate that all of these purchases were really well thought out i didn't just buy them on a whim and i saved up a lot of money over a long period of time like i do not have the biggest paycheck in the world and i put it on things that really matter to me so obviously shoes were something that really mattered to me and they are ones that i wear a lot and i would say they are very worthwhile investments that are going to last me a few years but I'm not rich I can't afford shoes like there's no tomorrow like I just saved and I'm so glad I did because I really really love them and they actually live in their boxes half the time with like the dust bags and stuff because I'm so precious of them and they get treated with leather cleaner and all that kind of stuff like they are very well looked after I really hope you enjoyed this video guys and I'll see you in my next video <laughs> bye guys